Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video by Alex Formosi. Won't get harder. Like this is the hardest part. And so if you can just make it through this, everything else is downhill. It's not that the things that you're, the dragons are gonna slay aren't gonna get bigger, they are, but you become so much more equipped to slay them back. And you have so many more allies. You have people in the stands cheering for you. You have the audience, you have all of these other things that are behind you. And so in the early days, like it feels so painful because you're like, you look around to see who can help you and then you're like, it's me again and the skills that you develop along the way like Steve Jobs learning calligraphy that then became Apple fonts that you know transformed how we type those early days that little trench winning in the weeds oftentimes gives you these huge advantages later on because you have more context than anyone else and so rather than lament them and hate the fact that you're going through it remembering that these will be arrows that you put in the quiver that you're going to be using to slay the future bigger dragons and so expecting it to be easy is what makes it much harder than it ever is all right kirby i guess i'm gonna take the lead on this one this is a great video and about alex he's really good at articulating his words like he, he makes everything right. just sound so eloquent and what i like about this video is like it gives the reality of what entrepreneurship is or what investing is or what starting anything on your own is because as you reminded me or as you told me in the beginning was no one is going to understand what you're doing everyone is going to think you're crazy and you're not going to have anyone mm -hmm. supporting you that couldn't be more true than it actually is because most people they think that everyone that's in their lives is going to be there having their back their friends their families because you think that those people have your back in your day-to-day -day life and so you're assuming well i already have people so why would they not have my back once i take this leap of faith and once you actually do take that leap of faith and you're trying something new it doesn't have to be entrepreneurship but anything that's different from what the world says is normal then you are singled out and no one really understands what you're doing and they don't know how to support you and they don't support you or they tell you not to do it and it's just you because you're the only one that knows that that's what you want deep down and you can't relate to anybody because you're the only one with that thing in your mind of this is what i want to achieve and it's not till later on as you continue to grow that you start to meet people in that same field in that same realm of what you're trying to go after and that you can start to build your network and as you build your network things become more easy and become more efficient in going through the process. Right. Um, Alex, I still remember that conversation we had, first conversation, and uh, we sitting there, Alex wet behind the ears, he thinking <laughs> he about to be Donald Trump Jr. And he was like, and he and everybody has this, you know, he's thinking like, oh, all my family's going to be happy, they're going to be very supportive, we're all going to do this, we're going to do it together. And Alex, I'm, I'm going to hit you with a quagmire that I ran into. So when I started investing, I was in the deserts of Iraq. I had people that would be willing to jump in front of a bullet for me. I'm talking about my military soldiers and battle buddies. They was willing to jump in front of a bullet for me, but they wasn't willing to fix their financial future. I mean, me, I was I was uh, a novice at it, but I just knew that's what it was. You know, I, I would always talk about it with them, talk about it with them, but they wasn't excited as I was. So, and then, you know, you fast forward and then, you know, I talk to many of my battle buddies still today and they always say, man, I wish I would have started when you was. That was like highly frustrating for me because I'm like, hey, I'm trying to do better. Why... Why don't I have these channels? Why don't I have the family members supporting me? Why don't I have, you know, support them? They're not even saying good job. You know, they're not asking what I'm doing. They're just saying, hey, motherfucker, you crazy. That's, you know, that's risky. They talking bad about or talking down on what I'm trying to do. Because like you said, it's outside the norm. It's outside the norm of the family dynamic. You know, the family dynamic has always been, oh, get a job, you know, save money. If you could save a little extra, you're doing well for yourself. Get a nice car, uh, Hopefully one day you can uh, afford to make payments on a house and say you own a house and then life's good. You know, the quote unquote American dream. And then family members 
to this day, because I stayed on the journey. Nobody else wanted to join with me. Family members to this day call, hey, so so how do I get started? Now, this is almost 15, 20 years after I've been started now. But they could have been right along with me. And it was a frust it was a frustrating thing. And I'm gonna be honest, for years it was just me. It was just me. And I'm looking like I'm going through all this. I'm going through all this. And I'm doing it for me, of course, but I'm also getting the information so I can share with others, but it's nobody else to share with. And then I'm sitting here looking like, what's the hell is the point of getting all this information? I could just stick to, you know, my little stocks, you know, buying stack stocks or whatever, and just going about my life. But I just kept learning, 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 learning. And then now it's, and I, and I say this to my family and it's going to sound harsh on here, but I help true strangers to me. They listen to me more about, you know, finance and helping them to get money and build wealth than the people that's right next door to me. But now I see the reason why I had to go through all those ups and downs and I had to do all that study and stand up, you know, 12, 14 hours a day just studying. I wasn't getting paid to study. I was just studying to gather information, gather information. Then you run into people like you. You run into, you know, like the lady I talk about in Michigan who was, you know, homeless and helping them out. That's what it was all for. That's what I get gratitude now. Not, I mean, the successes that I have, it's, you know, I expect to get them now because I know the processes. But seeing other people win is my only goal. I'm excited when somebody called me and say, hey, thanks for helping me uh, change my 401k to good investments. Look where I'm at. And then I always tell them, I didn't do nothing. I said, I share this information with everybody. You did the work because you chose to take action. That's it. I mean, I'll give this information for everybody for free to the end of time. But the only people that's going to get it, that's going to get it and going to do something is the people that's going to take action and do it themselves. Because I'm not going there to click the buttons for you. I'm not going in there to say, uh, hey, you know, you shouldn't be spending that money. Because I tried that. That didn't work. Only thing it did was build more enemies. Oh, you stop worrying about what I'm doing. But then the same people that tell me to stop worrying about what they're doing are the same people that when they get into a financial rut, they call me. Oh, well, I could get in a financial rut because I could call Kirby because I know he got it. And those were the frustrating things. Like, don't use me to finance your bad, your bad financial decisions. So I lost a lot of friends, family members, because that's what they thought they could do. Like, all right, well, Kirby doing his thing and then I could just call him instead of just hey, why not just do what Kirby's doing so I don't have to go through these same financial issues? And so I'm I'm more than happy. I'm actually proud of it that I see the fruits of the labor for other people, not for myself. I mean, Alex, you know me. I, I, need, I need a couple dollars, you know, get me a little bourbon, you know, get me some food. I don't care about all the luxury, all that other crap. But seeing other people being able to do what they do, not have financial troubles, you know, could sit here and call crack jokes about you for being cheap. That's the stuff. I mean, I know you have the money and I'm going to get, trust me, people, I'm going to get him out there and he's going to spend some money one day. But <laughs> seeing it and knowing you're cheap because you want to, not because you have to be. You ain't cheap because you're like, oh, I only got three pennies left in my pocket. Let me just go get a Snickers. You know, you, you're doing it because you want to. Those are the things that make me happy and proud to seeing other people win because you know, I've been doing this for a while and everything that I do, I know my family's taken care of. I know my kids' college is paid for. I know all this stuff. But seeing other people win is the hallmark of my life. Yeah, I agree with that. And especially now I understand that more because going through the process in the beginning, not only do you see that you don't have the support, but like no one even listens to you. And like you're literally putting in the actions and the work and having the vivid results and no one still nobody listens to you and just recently um i know someone at work that i'm uh well there's two people but one of the people that i'm helping uh i'm kind of just guiding him through on like how to buy a house i think he's like the first one to buy a house in his family or something and um he went under contract and he's like it's that easy and i was like yeah good and i'm just like showing him how to negotiate, telling him what this means. The lender tells him something, whatever. I'm just explaining everything to him. So he's got the guidance. And 
he wanted to like give me a gift and i was like just thanks for listening like because nobody listens nobody wants to listen so thank you for not wasting my time is all like I don't do it. I don't try to help people so I can expect something in return. I just want to see other people win as well, like you said. And I remember you telling me that too, like years ago, like however long I've known you now. But years ago, you told me you just want to see people win. And it's true. It's like because you know you have all this information. And it's like, what good is it if you just keep it to yourself? Because yeah, it's good for you. It makes your life better. But that at the same time, it'd be nice to see other people succeed too, because you see so many people misled and they don't know how to go about winning in life and it's like it's so easy you can tell them because you have the information but they just don't listen but then you get those few individuals that do listen and it's like great like thank you for listening for not wasting my time yeah it helps build the it helps build the motivation because i'm trying to tell you before i met you i was in the dumps i'm like i'm like good god everybody nobody don't want to make no money nobody don't want nothing out of life everybody just want to struggle and i'm like and they're like Talking to you, it was refreshing. Now, for all the people that don't know, Alex Bougie now. Alex don't answer my <laughs> phone calls no more. He 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 sent me the voicemail every time now. He's too bougie for me. But still, but those, those were refreshing. It kept me motivated to talk to other people, keep pushing other people to do it and keep on and keep on going. And that's the that's the hallmark of it. And like we always talk about, the the richest people in the world is the cemetery because they have all this information, nobody wanna listen to it, then they die with the information. I mean, just think about grandma's recipes. Grandma died. Nobody don't know how to make the food no more because grandma gone. But nobody didn't want to, wasn't willing to learn when she was alive. Well, that's why the recipe is gone. The richest people in the world is in the cemetery because they got all the ideas that nobody wanted to get the information from. And I guarantee you, grandma was willing to give you, sit you down and teach you how to cook every, every one of her favorites, but nobody didn't have the time to do it. Now y'all over there eating ramen noodle sandwiches because grandma ain't there to cook on Thanksgiving. Y'all fault, not hers. <laughs> exactly. But with all that we say, guys, if you have any comments, let us know down below. Like the video, share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.